last time on Universal Tour. Captain? Shoot him down. I guess I just sat in that, in that cage for a good while. There you go. Just staring at the room. I just changed your crew. I choose Captain Morgan. Sits in the corner and drinks. I'm friendly, you know, and but 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 like kind of vulnerable too. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good luck with that. I'm running down this other hallway. It's an emotional wave. It can convey many well, things. Your your choices are your choices. This is a road trip. What stays goes on the road trip is you know stays on the road trip. All right. Oh help me! You know, help. It's far more of a yeah. Okay, yeah. It's it's, it's like a oh yeah. I, I need help. Oh no. Yeah, oh, he's, tottering, anyway. he's tottering after you and being like, okay, lady. Because <laughs> he's Canadian. Oi, oi. Okay. Oh, he's totally Canadian, eh? Hey. Come on, man. Alright, <laughs> so I'm running down this uh, bright hallway. Alright, down the bright hallway with Amanda. Um, Sweet, and Captain Morgan is running down the pitch black hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Bigfoot and my sister is running down the flickering hallway. So, uh, yeah, y'all are going down this uh, bright hallway. Um, y'all see a door at the end. There's also a door to your left. Which would you prefer? Uh, which way does it look like goes up to another story? Uh, you don't know. It's just the door. <laughs> they open both of them. You open both of them. One uh, continues the hallway with a couple other doors and more win- and windows on one side. Uh, the other is a room. All right, then we'll go to the one that continues. All right, down to the down you go, continuing. continuing. Um, eventually, you do come to some steps, but uh, they go up and down. Unfortunately, you're not quite sure what uh, floor you're on. There's uh, no... Obviously, I looked at the window when I was going down that hallway with all the windows. Good idea. <laughs> because that's literally something you described. <laughs> I know, yes, that's a good idea. And so, is he uh, looking out the window, you see that you are definitely um, on uh, ground level. Then I go up. So, up you go. Now, are these British stories or are they American stories? Oh, shit. <laughs> That could go all wrong just now. Yeah. Because this could be the second story all along. <laughs> we'll have to find out, won't we? I'm going with American stories right now. <laughs> but that might change as I go. <laughs> oh, we only have 16 hours to save the world! The power of GM. It's intoxicating. Anyway, so... <laughs> It's Canada. What 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 do you all think? Come on now. <laughs> Technically, it's British. <laughs> if it's Canada. <laughs> but then again, I don't know about what they would. So it would technically just been the other direction from where all the Yetis came from, was the place. <laughs> was but the let's place? keep on going up and see what we find. I wish I bought, bought a laser screwdriver. <laughs> Buy one of those next time. It's like a. It uses light to unscrew things and unlock things. Wow, well, my parents could really make some good bucks on those, those at their store. Yes, they could. Yes, they could. Don't worry. Someday they will. Anyways, going off to the next story. Okay, so the next story. Um. Yeah, uh, y'all see, there's a door there. There's also stairs continuing up. I'm gonna say this is the second story and uh, look through this whole uh, place. Uh, you want to open up the door and look down it? Yeah. Okay. You open up the doorway and look down it. Um, unfortunately, there's Yeti there. Oh. Me... Hello there, Mr. Yeti. Let me see if How he. Are you <laughs> doing? Oh, Look, are you going to do this? Because he'll definitely you. notice you. <laughs> Is he going to notice you? Let's see. I hope he does, because he nah, it does not. not. 
Oh, okay. you're actually going to hit him. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. I was seeing if he'd even oh. noticed you first. He doesn't see you, and so you get a sneak that, attack. And that, that, that is uh, good success, so I also stun him because of my martial arts. Yep, so he's down and now. <laughs> I love my martial arts. It's so great. <laughs> so he's down and out. Um, and I continue on, bringing... Amanda, I think that was your name, right? Yeah. Yep, but my name's Amanda Hubkiss. Hubkiss? What? Amanda, Amanda Hogging Kiss. Hogging Kiss. Hogging Kiss. Hogging Kiss. Hogging Kiss. Oh, Hog Kiss. Yeah. All right. We should be on our way now. It was a is a moderate stun, by the way. Okay. There's four right, doors. <laughs> Obviously, I opened them all. All of them. You can only do one at a time. Uh, first one is... Yes. First one, it seems to be um, some kind of office, except there's, like, no chairs for some reason, and there's a lot there of... Papers? Uh, papers, there are some papers, yes. Oh, actually, we'll go check it's, out it's, some papers. It's uh, one of the, it's those old, old papers, you know, that's all one continuous uh, stream. And I've little, had one of those printers yes, before, right? Those loud ass ones that are just. <laughs> They're my favorite. Okay, Anyways. so papers. Roll yes. me a knowledge. I will roll my knowledge of two. <laughs> I'm sorry. You... Roll to seven, please. It's a bunch of let that. It's a bunch of numbers. You can't make out these graphs. How do you, um, Amanda? Do you go with numbers? Amanda's knowledge is two. Come on, Amanda. Roll a twelve plus two, which Guess is Guess what, Amanda? You know exactly as much as the other time, Lord. Congratulations. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you take lucky? Did you take lucky? Uh, on the sheet, I, I have um. Yes, it has lucky. Then roll again. Seven. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> no, exactly as much as a time lord. Awesome. She's able to confer as much as you do that these graphs are important, and that you know they are important. <laughs> Michael Eisner is a bad math tutor. Okay. It's okay, hon. Honey, you know as much as a time lord. Be proud. <laughs> yes, be proud. Why does Roy Disney the third keep Michael Eisner around? Oh, look. This sucks. Doll, you're in show business. You don't need this plebeian <laughs> shit. <laughs> this is wow. What says. <laughs> You'll be pretty young forever. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I'll open the Especially next door. Especially tell that to your friend Brittany. <laughs> Anyways, I open the next door. <laughs> Okay, so you, you leave the papers. I and... can have two conversations at once. Thank you very much. <laughs> I can technically have three conversations at once if, if uh, Sweet wants to talk to me. Okay. So you leave the papers and you go to the next room. They, um... I send a picture to them to my sister. A picture? I mean, okay. It's telepathy. I, I, it's not range to talk alone. Okay, so I'll I'll uh, do we'll, we'll get to that and whenever we get to you, all right? Okay. Oh, uh, she was already captured and, and kidnapped. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds exactly like my big sister. Let's go to the next door. <laughs> well, actually, um, you 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 go to open up the next door, but the uh, door at the end where you just came in from, it's uh, now got a yeti coming out out of it, and there's another one behind oh, them. Fuck. Well, that's not the right number because that's plus six more. Uh, but yes, if that yet he doesn't dodge that seventeen, it's going to get hurt. Okay, so that's one down. The other one though is still standing. He's going to take a swing at you. Remember, I have armor two. You got an armor two. Oh shit! These things have armor four. I forget that. I constantly forget that. It's fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not stunning them through damage. I'm stunning them through, you know, Nerf martial sight. arts. Yeah. So, which it technically applies to all living organisms. So, did it punch me? Uh, let me see. Oh! No. I'm going to spend a story point, though. Because I can't 
get knocked out in front of a child. <laughs> so you're down to how many? You you start with one five? story point left. Oh, you you got you are down to three. Okay, you so you taken two, and yeah, you're down to one now. So you dodge just it grazes it actually knocks your hat off, and it skids across the. <gasps> Hatch? It skids across the corridor and you know bounces I, off the wall. I, I, <laughs> I honestly <laughs> kick the shit out of this. Thing. You pick it up. Um, I, no, I know. It's Amanda, just, just, Amanda, yes. please pick it up. So it blocks me barely. It just barely blocks you. It uh, it'll take you know a uh, hit to its resolve. It still uh, is standing. Uh, it, now its turn is to swipe at you. I will dodge it because it sucks now. <laughs> no, you dodge like a like a pro, like a pro in the ring. Like a young boxer in some sort of time stream. I dodge. Oh, he blocks again. This one's a fighter. He's, this one is a fighter. He's obviously done this before. He takes one more hit to his resolve, but he's still very Wait, well do standing. Did you actually hit him? Yeah, you you hit him, but he's blocking. Oh, but he's... that was a nerve strike. No, I'm sorry. With just <laughs> okay. exactly the same, it's gonna be. He takes a small hit to his resolve. Just one. He's you're slivering away at him, but he's still standing. Okay, I like how we both have plus <laughs> eight to our attacks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one more. Yeah, you missed him. I mean, no, he missed you. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, sixteen. <laughs> oh, he dodged. Josh! Fourteen. <laughs> Sixteen. <laughs> oh, I think I take some damage from that one. Yeah, that's uh, much damage. See, he takes. Um, no, six, I take damage. I'm sorry, I'm getting my pronouns all mixed up. <laughs> you take. Let's see, seven plus two. So just as much as I would do to him. So yeah, you took nine damage. Unless you want to spend your last story point. <laughs> Hell yes, I am. I can't let this awesome fight end. <laughs> so that's your last story point. You got no story points now. You're gonna have to beat this guy to get him back. <laughs> and I mean, beat him soundly. Thirteen. Um, you're attacking with that, oh. and then he gets a nineteen to dodge. All right, it's her just... turn to attack. How come now this one, this one, he's doing great. All right, roll to attack. Okay, rolling to attack, 17. 17. 17. He, he lands a small hit on me. One hit, one from your resolve. Oh, that sucks. But no, nothing else, just one hit to your resolve. And then I go back with a t- <laughs> 12. <laughs> 16, he takes another resolve from you. I strike back at him with a 13. It. Just Why? I just need to hit him once <laughs> and he's down. This one, he must have, he must be like trained or something. He's, you notice a little badge on him that, uh -oh, you know. I'm going down this turn, Amanda. You better run. Okay. I, I know my hand's dealt. Save yourself. Can take I, my hat I, with you. I take the strike right in the yeah. face. He, he's got you. Slammed you. It's going on about how your sister gets captured. I'm afraid something's <laughs> happening. You're I, down. I kind of get protective and just like stay, stay Or I could, up. in that moment, attack his brain. <laughs> attack his brain. Uh, Kind of already happened is the problem. I know. I should have done that, but I wanted to see if I actually rolled well. <laughs> For some reason, he just kept. I, I was got too into the fight. I could just <laughs> taken him over like easy peasy, but you know, I was just too into the. This fight. is why time lords don't fight. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so yeah, unfortunately, with one horrible smash. In your face, uh, you just go fling across the uh, uh, corridor and land where your hat landed. No, my, Amanda took my hat. Yeah, exactly, but it's exactly where your hat landed, too. So Now run away, Amanda. 
I told you to before, right before yep. I, I knew my dodge was not enough. Like, I run over and strap his hat back on him. <laughs> you place the hat back on him? Okay. Oh, and... wait, then I have plus three to resolve. Let's Ooh. go! <laughs> <laughs> you get three more chances. <laughs> Uh, that's what I get back up after you the kid put second, my... As soon as the hat the light touches your hair, you suddenly jump up. Your your eyes, your eyes fly hey, open. No more games. <laughs> Nineteen to take over his mind. <laughs> Nineteen to take over his mind. Let's see what's the result here. It's not great, so you're probably gonna. Let's see. No worries, you got him. All right, he's my buddy now. Okay, he's he's lowered his fists, and he's all right. Help me around. I think I lost both my teeth in that last punch. <laughs> so we're gonna real quick um cut over to her. Yes, please cut Solandra. over. Salandra, yes. uh, you've gone down this flickering light corridor. From what uh, you can see when the lights are on, you know, oh, an, an open door here and there. It just looks like it's um uh, a la- uh what do you call it an uh employee lounge. Um, is there a vending machine? Uh, no, there's not a vending machine. There's kind of like just a, uh, what do you call it? An open fire in it. Okay. With a, uh, with a, shoot, I can't think of the word. Uh, it's kind of a grill rack over it. Okay, when I say yeah. open fire, I should be more specific saying it's in the wall in a, you know, chimney, but it's rather big and. Okay. Um, I like. Uh, is, are there some like pieces of wood nearby or anything like to feed the fire? Yeah, there's like you know some logs. Okay. Um. I. It, it, like I, t- I, um, I select one. That, I gotta say uh, though, these are I, some really big logs. If you want to like okay. take them, it's gonna be a negative two to your movement. Okay. Never mind then. I was going to like grab one to like. You know, make a torch and you know, like fend off the yeti. No, this is obviously. They're totally afraid of fire, I'm sure. Uh, so, all right. Besides, besides the like fire, is there anything else in this lounge? No, there just seems to be a fire. With uh, there are some, you know, big, uh, spacious couches. Okay. Um. Let's see. I. Uh, I don't know. I, there, there's not much. I I just sort of shrug, and I'm like, uh, so I guess you could have told me, man, that this was just an employee lounge down here. Uh, he kind of he kind of looks at you and goes, mm. yeah, yeah. I, I I pat him gently on his arm. The uh the kind of psychic image you kind of get out, out of him is uh. I, eh, you know, I I'm just here for the ride. Yeah. Kind of just un- wavering uh, uncertainty. <laughs> okay. Um, I I shrug and I sit and I go okay. So well, in that case, uh, let's go ahead and uh, just turn around and we'll go back. Um. Uh, it, it, the, the doors along the way, I, I like sort of open them and peer into them. Okay, there was uh, one other door on the uh, other side. Wait, on the other side of the lounge? No, no, on the other side of the corridor. I'm sorry. Okay. There so, was yeah. uh, another on the other side of the corridor, and that cor- and uh, you peek into it, and. Um, Inside it, it looks kind of commissary uh, area where there's, you know, this big, um, massive, like, door that it's obviously, it's a freezer. Um, inside the, uh... They need a back. freezer? Yo. <laughs> well, it's moderate temperature in this building for okay. some weird reason. You're not sure about that. Okay. Yeah, that's it's it. it's actually that's a good question. Why isn't it freezing in here? It's moderate in here. They're not, it's it's rather odd. Oh, um, it's because of her capital H E R. It's um in uh this commissary it has you know it it doesn't have like a, a cooking place in it. It just seems to have a freezer and places to sit. Uh, again, these are really uh big 
places, uh, big uh, just benches. Seats. Yeah, but you bet yeti size seats. They just okay, they're pretty well, much just half of I'm logs curious, cut open. What's in the freezer? Uh, you're curious? Yeah. Um, I go right. in and open it up. All right, you go in and open it up. Um, inside the freezer, there happens to be meat. Just meat. It's okay. it's caribou. It's you know. Okay. I, I, this I has given it. time to for the other um, yetis chasing you to catch up. You now have uh, two yetis. Okay. To deal I with. pick up a piece of meat and I like, you know, it's like sort of wave it like a treat, and I like. Throw it across the room. Wait, what did you do to my yeti that I gave you? <laughs> no, he's still with me. But she hasn't asked for help. Enemy yetis that have followed me in here. Okay, I'm gonna tell that yeti that they totally wanted to go take her to uh, take <laughs> this one to her oh, and get all Let of Alaska. Let me do it my way. You're busy fighting another yeti. You don't know about this. Let me do it my way. Okay. So I pick I'll up. End in tears, I tell you. I'll well, I pick up a piece of meat in each hand, and I take one of them. I take the one in my right hand, and I wave it around like a dog treat, and then I throw it across the room and go, "Go get it! Go get it, boy!" Uh, the one under hypnosis kind of waddles off after it. The other two. <laughs> no, not you! Not you! <laughs> the other two are like looking at you, like what? what? They also look at the other one like, what are you doing? Um, I take advantage of their confusion and I run past them. Okay, give like, me a... Like, still uh... holding the other piece of me. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm, let's see. I told you my big sister's gonna be kidnapped. <laughs> hey, 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 you almost. If it hadn't been for the quick quick uh, work of uh, Amanda. The, the, the blind... Uh, he should have his hat. <laughs> hey, <laughs> lucky is as lucky does. I don't know if that's the word I want. That was pure luck for no reason. <laughs> she has lucky. What can I say? Okay, so yeah, you don't get past them, I'm afraid. They very easily reach down in between them and grab you and just hold you up. I, I sigh and I go, fine. But you'd better take me to your leader, like, directly to her, because I'm going to cause some big-ass problems for this place. Do you know what kind of health codes you are violating here? You just have caribou meat thrown in a freezer, so you're cooked over an open flame, as far as I can tell? That That is, like, five OSHA problems right there. So the psychic wave you just sent was a big frowny face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, a big angry face. It's a big angry frowny face. And a wagging finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but, but not, well, uh, but but uh, after that, I, I sort of send, like, uh, uh, like I can, can I send, like, simple pictures? Oh, with like, psychic? Yeah, you can send kind of Yeah, a like, I, I, like, send, like, you know, sort of, like, second floor, like, boss. Like, that sort of general, like, message. To- uh, they understand it's- that you're asking uh, for, uh, you know, a domineering presence and one of great strength. Yeah, yeah. So they uh, look at each other and kind of shrug, and they point in the corner. Wait, wait, wait. Is, is he your boss? <laughs> <laughs> kind of point in the like, corner like- and... The, the yeti that's currently munching on a caribou leg. <laughs> it's like it's he just... technically is, by the way. <laughs> I didn't mean to tell you. He's technically their boss. <laughs> He's the lead uh, yeti. It just you know things don't work out for him. Well, you <laughs> know, you don't know how complicated yeti society is. Now, come on. Okay. I mean, he's um, obviously the alpha. How big he is. On pheromone levels for the day. Um, what? I actually have a rotating hierarchy based on pheromone <laughs> levels for the day. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so, so I, I sigh and I, I'm like, second floor. And I, I, I if my hands are free, like, I, I point upward. Um, yeah, they got, like, their, uh, 
uh, hands around your uh, arms, okay. but but you're able to make a number two. Yeah. And they kind of sort of understand. You start kind of projecting pictures of like, like two yeah, eggs, two, two boss, ants, two. Yeah. And they they kind of look at each other and you go, oh, oh, oh. A dawning hits their eyes and they go, oh, and they start marching you. The uh the hypnotized yeti sitting in the corner still munching really... away at uh meat. <laughs> I, I, I like send out an image of like like follow, like follow. <laughs> No, instead of a thumbs up, for Christ's sake, he's been working so hard today. <laughs> he has. <laughs> he has his fucking reward. <laughs> it's, it's his turn to, you know, get some rest. Jeez. Okay. He um, wasn't even hungry, you just force fed him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... We're going to switch over uh, also, to... Also, I, I want Captain Sweet's story now. Yeah, we're switching over to... So, uh, Captain Sweet, we, you ran down this dark corridor. You are um, unable to see if there's any... Um, r- very well, you're not able to see if there's any doors. Do you want to feel around, or are you just going to run until you can... Uh... Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'll, I'll slide my hand across the hallway as I'm walking down. Okay, as you're running down... Uh, you do feel like the edge of um door handle uh door frame and uh to your uh left I'll check it. So you open it up, it's a bright room. Uh especially compared to this dark hallway you've just been in. Uh in it you see uh pretty much what looks like a um operating table. It, more likely it's, it's you could say it's an examining t- examination table, really uh, from what knowledge you would know, it's you. You definitely know it's metal. Technology three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's. You know that it's it's definitely a doctor. All right. Um, it's just an operating room, right? I don't find anything of, I think of value. Um, there are some interesting bottles. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, shit! Go don't do that to him. Don't do that to him. That's just <laughs> wrong morally. <laughs> what I'm just saying. There's some interesting bottles there. It's up to him. Them. <laughs> All right, I'll open it's it up up. and smell it. Uh, that's that's um, it's chemicals of some kind in one and another. It's definitely gonna be rubbing alcohol. Out, um. It smells like alcohol to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's it's definitely rubbing alcohol. Um, another, it smells more like it's iodine. Rubbing alcohol wasn't invented till the Civil War, all right? Well, you know, he thinks it's for whenever they have to amputate a person, guys. Come on, now. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't. He just thinks it's alcohol. Exactly. You got it for whenever you have to amputate a person. You got to get him drunk first. <laughs> so... <laughs> so, so that's all I found is I found another thing of alcohol. <laughs> yes, you did. There are some shiny, you know, scalpels and stuff, but they're pretty pointy, and so. you know, it's it's a bunch of medical stuff. It's it's you'd probably say they're not exactly. All right, I'll keep much. the alcohol and I'll just go on my way. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else of value was found. So my own. This first is to be a really <laughs> shitty adventure for you. Sorry. <laughs> You can't even steal a dog for a little weak girl. <laughs> <laughs> He'll have his. Mo- he shot a yeti in the leg. What did you do? You well, got well, drunk in a snowstorm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What did you do, lady? <laughs> you held on. To he a- shot a yeti in the leg while drunk in a snowstorm. <laughs> that has to be like the best, <laughs> best pirate ever, that- man. <laughs> I'm just saying, booty wise, it's really shitty. <laughs> It's the tales that you spin, man. <laughs> okay, so uh, you uh, exit back out to the uh, dark corridor. Yep, and I'll just continue. Continue down. Keep running your hand across the. Uh... Yeah. All right. Well, uh, unfortunately, you don't come across another door uh, until you slam into it. Uh, <laughs> All right. Well, first your hat tips back, and you know, whoa, 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 whoa stop. So. <laughs> of course, my trusty hat. Have a hat. <laughs> that keeps you from, uh, you know, hitting the door frame. Uh, so, yeah, go, you're gonna go ahead and open it. Uh, yeah. All right, you open it up, and it's another stairwell. You can go up or down. Hmm. Well, if I remember, <laughs> the the, pe- the person they wanted to see was upstairs, but 
Normally, people keep treasure downstairs. Mm. So I think I'll go downstairs. All right, downstairs you go. Uh, you, when you come downstairs, you come to uh, an open uh, area. It's uh, much colder down here than up there. Um, and you, fact, for a you can you can kind of see your breath a bit. It's obviously not being heated or anything in this uh, area. I, I mean, like I'm I'm inebriated most of the time. <laughs> exactly. It's it's not a big deal for you, but yeah. um, it's just a note. <laughs> Like, it's cold, but I don't feel it. <laughs> there you go. You're still wearing your coat, so no worries. Yeah. No worries. Um, uh, it's darker down here. Um, uh, not so much like in the corridor, which seemed to be pitch black, but it's darker down here. You can dimly see uh, things. Can you give me an awareness check? Sure. You, don't, you see a bunch of hulking shapes, but unless you get a light, you're not going to be able to see what kind of... Uh, I mean, I'm a pirate, so I probably have, like, a match or something to, like, light pipe. Yeah, a match. All right. All right. I'll, I'll light yeah. a match. We'll say you're lucky give you a match. And, uh, uh, yeah, you turn it on and you see the gleam of gold. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's big. This huge hulking shape in front of you. It's kind of conical. And it's, um... It's got kind of this weird ring on it, but it's definitely, definitely gold. All right, I'll, I'll try and carry as much of it as I can and go on my merry way. It's pretty, pretty big. Um, I'll take off whatever I can. If that easily will come off. Let's Otherwise, see. Um, so you want to try? Almost try and break it. You gotta try for like a ring that's yeah. uh, on it. Okay, give me a. Let's see. Uh, go ahead and give me a Slurs. strength <laughs> strength check. Can I get any bonuses for this? Um, Being a pirate and with my obsession or anything? Yeah, let me <laughs> see. With your obsession, it's a, um, it's a major. major. Bad. It's a major, and you also are selfish. I'm going to go ahead and give you a plus three. All right. Because <laughs> you want that damn thing. Ooh, with a 15, you nailed it. You got it. You It, uh, it takes a lot of effort, but it, with a big grunt, it comes off. And you're triumphant, triumph, eh, tri you gladly hold up the uh, ring that you just saw. Unfortunately, you feel a pair of hands clasp around your shoulders. <laughs> All right. Uh, did you want to try and wrench away? Uh, yeah, let's, let's go for that. Okay, strength and shoot. What was it? Wait, you have a cutlass, right? Yeah. <laughs> And you can easily pry off gold with that cutlass. <laughs> it it definitely uh, keeps a hold of you. And uh, you look up and, you know, it's just this big furry face glaring down at you. <laughs> Another um, one tries to take away the ring from you. <laughs> um, can I spend a story point to give him alcohol instead? <laughs> <laughs> to give him alcohol instead? <laughs> he saw you take the Rubbing ring. Rubbing alcohol? He saw yeah. you take the ring is the only problem. You can use that story point. You can use that story point to make sure he does not get that ring. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, after like tugging on you for like a full solid minute, this Wookiee... Uh, now you got me saying it. Thanks. <laughs> this Yeti. Uh, throws its hands up, kind of, in this, uh, I fucking give up, what gesture. <laughs> and, like, okay. and they, uh, start marching you, uh, to, uh, back upstairs. I mean, that's where I needed to go anyway, so whatever, I'll, I'll uh, be back to the gold. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get more later on. <laughs> okay. So while they're taking upstairs, any of you gents care for a drink? <laughs> 